Nittany Line Roar with Extreme Panda here, and this video is about how to prepare for an event. And we have a Knights of Avalon event showing up tomorrow. Uh, I've been trying to prepare for it, although I used a lot of my battle items on the last event, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to participate in this one or not, but I am getting close. So I'll show you what I've been doing uh, in order to be able to participate. There's really only two main things that you're going to do. The first one is to farm nonstop get all the ingredients you need for number two which is to create battle items now with the events one thing that I've learned is that you've got the three different ones rare which I don't think is worth it at all um, although you can get some uh, craftable materials out of that then there's epic which you can you definitely should complete but as far as competing in it it may not be worth it. It's really, really difficult. There's like five times as many doing that one as the legendary one. Uh, so I always uh, shoot for the legendary one. And last time I made top 10 in that. Um, I did make top 100 in Epic, uh, but I decided not to waste any more battle items on it because I was having a better time competing in legendary. And I think that's just because there's less players um, competing in that one, whether that be because they don't think they can compete or what but um, the legendary one is where you can use your five star heroes and your four star battle items and as far as heroes go like you don't need to use five star heroes this is my team from the last event which was bold tusk tabertus tabertus grave maker and sartana so i had three four star heroes in that one and still made top 10 you're going to notice a lot of the top players actually use a lot of four star heroes in that legendary event but the key is the battle items, and you'll see that I've been creating some here. I've been making dragon attacks along the way. Uh, and the four battle items that I really, really want for the legendary event are first, tornadoes. Second, dragon attacks. Third, bombs. And fourth, axe attacks. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and beat stage one. Then on stage two, I'm going to unload all my axes and bombs, and that should be enough to kill stage two. And then when I'm on stage three, then I'm going to unload my dragon attacks on the boss, and I'm going to use tornadoes to um, basically recharge up my heroes. I'm also unloading my heroes on the bosses. Tornadoes will basically reset the board and give my heroes mana. They'll charge up again. So I basically just unload my uh, hero's specials on the boss twice. Uh, and that's usually enough to kill. I might have to make a couple of connections, but that's how you end up competing very, very fast. You spam the bosses with these battle items. Now, if you're going to do epic, you're not allowed to use these four-star battle items. So what I've tended to use for epic is bomb attacks, axe attacks, arrows, and mana potions. Um, it does basically the same kind of thing. Uh, as you can see, I haven't really been constructing any arrows because I'm not even going to try the try to compete in the epic one this time around. I'm just going to complete the epic one. So that's primarily what I've been doing uh, to prepare for the event. I'll try to do another video if I'm competing in the event to show you what I'm doing to compete. Thanks for watching.